All right, what's up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation E VGC Wi Fi battles. I actually got a really cool team today that's actually a team around Mesprit with Psychic Terrain and actually Expanding Force. So it's a really cool team. Mesprit's been in the game for a while now, and I have not even really seen Mesprit even being used at all in VGC. So I really wanted to try this team out. Uh, it's actually a team by Jordy, who actually featured a few of his teams on the channel in the past always making really cool teams and constantly just pumping out and like creating a lot of new teams i don't know how the guy creates so many new teams in such a short short amount of time i really do not know but every team he puts out is either really fun or incredibly good so you guys want to play this team rental code up in the corner uh, and i don't know if there's a poke pace for the team but if you guys want that as well let me know in the comments and i'll try to find it for you um seems really cool it actually has the the indeedy with the rocky helmet trick room uh, helping hand, just a really standard set with like Terra Fairy. Iron Ball Mesprit, which if you guys not know what Iron Ball does, it pretty much negates flying type mons and stuff with Levitate. So you're actually, you have Levitate, but with the Iron Ball, you're actually touching the ground. So you get the expanding forest terrain boost, which is huge. And then uh, you actually have the Iron Hands with the Clear Amulet, kind of a standard set with Sword Stands, Terra Fire. Sinus Child with Mental Herb, kind of just to set up Trick Room and be annoying with Rage Powder. Uh, light Clay, Screens, Grim Snarl, really standard. And then you got the Citrus Berry, Terra Water, Arcanine for the Intimidate support for this team. So, some really cool stuff on here, but the main star of this team, we're going to try to see how it does, is the Mesprit. And uh, I think there's a few other mods in the game that also get Spanning Force. The one that everybody uses, though, is Armor Rogue, which is the most common one. But Mesprit actually gets, I think there's a few other. I think maybe the other two of the Lake Trio also get Spanning Force, but I'm not 100% sure. But there's no reason to really use them over Armed Rogue a lot of the time. Just because it's a way better offensive ty typing, being on a Psychic Fire type. But so this team goes, we'll top right in some games. Alright, we are here with a match. My opponent has a pretty cool team. More of a rain team, actually. Like a hybrid rain team. He has the Milotic, Tornadus, Empoleon, Como O, and Didi, and the Politoed. So, kind of like a, a rain team with like Tailwind support, pretty much. I think I actually bring the Mesprit here. I actually think I lead Mesprit. Mesprit looks really good versus him. I think I actually bring in Deity and I bring Mesprit as a lead. His team's pretty... I wouldn't say it's the fastest team, but if he's running Tailwind, I can set up Trick Room on that and be a really good spot. Mesprit's also pretty good into the Como O, and if he wants to go Terra Steel, then I can bring the, the Iron Hands in the back. I think I'm going to bring here. Iron Hands looks really good. My opponent's team is really weak to Iron Hands. It's... It hits like four things on his team for super effective damage. See what moves I'm actually running on here, though. I am running Wild Charge, so that's great. And then I think I bring the... I could bring the Sinus Shaw here as well, which ain't too bad. I don't know. I think the Sinus Shaw... Either the Sinus Shaw or the, the Grim Snarl. I think I'll bring the Sinus Shaw for this game. I don't really want to bring the Arcanine because he might bring the Empoleon. Or the, the Milotic, and I could have competitive as well. I can give him a free boost if I bring that, so... And it doesn't really do much. I think the only thing that can maybe... The Intimidate really matters for is maybe the... The Como O if he's running a physical variant, but... See how it goes. If you guys like the video as well, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Really appreciate it. Keep on bringing them his way. If he runs and He actually is bringing an Ndidi Como O here. Does he have Trick Room on his own Indeedy? Is the, is the question here. I'm going to Trick Room. I'm going for Trick Room and then I'm just going to start throwing out Expanding Force. That's what I'm going to start doing here. He's going to follow me. That's fine. Oh, he's actually Dragon Dance Como. Oh, that's, that's actually ain't too bad though because I got Trick Room, so that's not too bad. I also have Dazzling Gleam on the Indeedy, so that should do a shit ton of damage. I don't know why I like the for some reason with Expanding Force too. It, it's a double target move, but it only lets you select one opponent, which is really weird. I don't know. I don't know why it works that way. I think that's a bug. Cause I, I'm only able to select, like, I, I was able to select only one opponent there, and it's actually a double hit move. 
It's really confusing. I'm in a good spot now, though. Like, I got the trick room up, and I have the expanding force going, so... I can actually helping hand, too. Helping hand expanding force here is really good. I mean, it's not very effective on both of these mods, but still... Should still do a shit ton of damage, actually. I guess I can go for Drain and Kiss as well, but... I got his expanding force here. He's gonna Terra. As long as it's not a Terra Steel type, I'm fine with whatever Terra he has. I'm fine if it's, as long as it's not Terra Steel. It's Terra Water, that's fine. You're dead. You're dead. He actually has Helping Hand, too. He has Helping Hand. I don't know if he has Trick Room on his side. He mustn't have Trick Room on his... I'm assuming he's running almost like the same build, though, but, like, with, instead of Trick Room, he probably has, like, maybe Psychic or, like, an attacking move. Hydro is just a one at KO. I didn't think that was going to one-shot me, actually, but... Whatever. I mean, I have two options here. I can go into the, the Iron Hands and just start putting in work. Or I can go into the Sinish Shaw and just Macha Gacha, which I think is what I'm going to do here. In Trick Room, I should be able to outspeed. Do some decent damage here. All this Dazzling Gleam on this turn and all Macha Gacha, and I should get a double hit KO. Oh, that's Eper Text. I think I get a double down here, and it'll be a 1v3. My opponent is still really backed into a corner because, because of the Trick Room. Like I, my team's just really good on, with Trick Room, at least from what I brought. Going to draw the Empoleon. What do you have? What else did he bring? The Milotic? Tornadoes. That's fine. It's completely fine. I don't care. I mean, he can't really do shit anyways with the terrain being up. Are you going to throw up the Tailwind? The indeed he's gone anyways. And I get a burn. That's huge. I don't know how much that really matters because he's a special attacker, but like just for the ship damage, it's great. I don't know. It's just showing by all his mods to Iron Hands wants to be the game here, so. I don't know what he actually can do here. Unless he's Specs and Polion, which he could be. He could be Specs with how much damage that did. It one shot the Mesper, and Mesper is a really bulky mod. Could probably just be like Specs, and he's... Switch out here to try to reset, I guess. I don't know. I think I just Helping Hand here. A Helping Hand, Macha Gacha. He can't Aqua Jet because of the terrain. Icy Wind. Does this... The Polion is actually slower than the, the Sinish Shaw. Is that really real? He's running a really slow Empoleon, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I didn't expect him to outspeed under Trick Room. Basically, Wind doesn't really matter, though, because... Like, he's just lowering my speed, so he's making me faster in Trick Room. So I don't know why he even bothered. Sinistraw lives. I don't, it doesn't matter if I would have lived or, or died there, though, because I have the Iron Hands in the back. I think next turn my terrain is gone, so I just come in and fake out, and he, I think at that point he's pretty much dead. So, I think that's game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just forfeits here, actually. I think that's game. I'm gonna stay, though. Not bad. Really solid first game for this team. I'm impressed. I really am. Granted, we brought like a way better team, like a way better four mons than my opponent did. I think he should have brought the the Milotic. Would have been a little bit better versus me than apart from the Empoleon, because the Empoleon just gets wrecked by the by Iron Hands and a few other things. And I mean, I grant, I guess his team was really weak to Iron Hands, anyways. There's not really much he could have did. Or if he, I guess if he would have Terra, the Como would have been a little better of a play. I don't know what Terra he really was, though, but I'll see you guys in game number two. Alright, we are here with another match. 
one has a really annoying looking team. He has the Fluttermane, Milo, Arcanine, and just regular Arcanine, which I haven't seen in a while, actually. Uh, I think that's Thunderous, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, and then Clefairy. So, or Clefairy. I don't see the drawback. Like, I don't even see, like, no drawback. It's just, like, not leading, like, Indeed, Mesprit as a lead here. Like, what does he do versus that? Especially if I tear a fairy, like if he leads Flutter Main, like I don't understand. I don't know what he would really even do. What else I bring here? The Iron Hands looks really good. I'll bring the Iron Hands. Uh, what else do I bring here? I mean, screens ain't too bad here either, I guess. But I don't know. It's either it's a kind of a toss up between the Arcanine and the Sinistral here again. I think I bring the Sinistral. If I were my opponent, I'd probably bring the Clefari, the the Flutter Main, probably the Ursaluna, and then either the Thunderous or the or the Milotic. One of those two. I don't, I don't think he brings Arcanine versus me. Just doesn't really do that much. If she leads this, so I got that pretty much right. Fine, I guess. I mean, he's still gonna be taking damage, but with the expanding force, you're gonna be eating a shit ton of damage here. So I don't know. I think I just helping hand. I helping hand expanding force on this turn actually. Just see how much damage it does. I don't know if Clefairy actually gets Trick Room. I don't think it does. It's gonna protect. That's fine. It's completely fine. Blood Moon is that gonna one shot me? It just it one shots me with a crit, so the crit mattered. Crit mattered. What an awful way to start this match. I'm pretty sure that crit mattered. I mean, the Ursa Luna outsped me there. I, I, I don't know what the exact speed is on the Mesprit. I think Mesprit's like base 60, but, but he like outsped me there. So I think he has some speed investment on his thing, on his in Ursa Luna. And like, he's not really running a Trick Room team. So I, I think I'm kind of just gonna set up a Trick Room here and hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. And then I'll, uh, I think I just Swords Dance here actually. So follow me, that's fine. That's why I'm swords dancing, so I can just one-shot the Clefairy. Earth power, I'm dead. That just straight up one-shots me. That just one-shots me, wow. Ursa Luna is so fuck. he- Okay, he left. Why did he DC on me? Why did he DC? Why would you DC on me? I have no idea, okay. I have no idea why you would he's winning the game and he leaves okay I, oh, I don't know if i'll include this one but if i do i have no idea why he left on to the next game all right we're here with another match my opponent has a really cool sun team really cool team charizard nine tails uh clefairy victory bell dragonite and vaporeon so really cool team i actually don't, don't know what i lead with here i think the arcanine is really good I think Arcanine as a lead here looks so good versus him, actually. Arcanine looks really good. I think the, I think I'm going to lead Arcanine Grimmsnarl here. It looks like a really solid lead. I'm going to bring the Indeedy in the back in case he wants to bring Dragonite. And I think I'll bring the Mesprit in the back as well, which is pretty solid. And if I, can, if I really need to, I can set up Trick Room. Trick Room ain't too bad versus him. I think that's what I go roll with for this game. Cool team by my opponent, though. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what it's really been, too. Like, I don't know. I've, I've been trying to record. I've been recording at least... You guys, it's probably only like 20, 10, 20 minutes in this video for you guys. But at least for me, I've been trying to record for like almost an hour now. And the majority of the matches I've been having tonight, people just keep leaving. Like, they either rage quit or like even like the team selection screen, they just keep leaving for some reason. Need to disconnect, so I don't know what the problem is. If this team is really that scary, or like, I don't know what the issue is. It's getting really unlucky with people rage quitting or just leaving matches. 
just really annoying because it just wastes so much time. And a lot of those games, I'm probably not even going to throw any of those games in this video for you guys. It's waste a lot of my time, which is really frustrating. Tajili's Dragonite Clefairy, which is fine. I think I just rock slide here and then I set up a reflect. I think that's my play. I mean, he might actually be a weakness policy too. He actually has Aqua Tail. I'm dead. I'm dead. Surprised he actually has Aqua Tail because a lot of Dragonites don't even run that anymore. I got a flinch. I don't know how much that really matters though. Going to the Indeedee here, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming if he brought the Dragonite, I'm assuming his last two mods are probably Ninetales and Charizard. If I were to guess. Or maybe even like Vaporeon. You might actually have like the Vaporeon and it's like one other mod. Maybe the Charizard by itself or something. Because the Vic Truebell and like the a few other things on his team really need the sun to actually do stuff. I'm just gonna Trick Room here. I'm gonna Trick Room and then I'm gonna Spirit Break the, the Dragonite here. I'm gonna withdraw. Let me guess, Nine Tails is coming in. He might actually be banded too. Like ju judging how much damage that actually did with a light screen up, he might actually be banded Dragonite, just judging by that. Maybe that's why he switched out, because he did do a shit ton of damage and I had to reflect up at that point. I know the Arcanine really isn't, it's, it's four times effective on the Arcanine still, but with a Reflect Up, you think I would have maybe lived, barely. I think he's probably banded Dragonite. He has the Vaporeon too, which is fine. So he has Dragonite, banded Dragonite more than likely, Vaporeon, and then Clefairy, I don't know what his last mod really is. I don't know, looking at his team, it could be anything, I guess. I, I'm assuming probably Charizard though, if I were to guess. I don't know. I, I, I need to really go out into the into the mess right here. Have something get killed off. I think what I need to do here is just I'll follow me on this turn, and then I'm gonna swap out the Grim Snarl here for the mess bridge. I got I got a screen up, so I should be good. And I get to follow me going here, so like I shouldn't be taking any damage. Moonblast, it's fine. Does nothing. Gets a special attack drop though, that's bad. And he has Calm Mind, so now I need to start putting in some damage. I can't let him set up on me. I'm just gonna helping hand here. I'm gonna helping hand expanding force. And I actually can maybe nasty pot here. I can maybe Nasty Plot, because he may protect. I'm going to Nasty Plot on this at Ellen's turn. I'm actually going to Dazzling Gleam here, and then I'm going to Nasty Plot, and then we're going to start going for damage. Because he can't really do much to me offensively right now. Like, I think he's going to try to set up the plus two. Nothing. Wow, that does not do anything. I think the indeed he needs to get swapped out here. Like, we just need to start going for damage because, man, is it useless now. It's only good for helping hand and just to throw up the trick room, I think. I need to start doing damage on this turn. That's what I need to start doing. I'm going to helping hand and we're going to start pumping out some damage. That plus two. Follow me doesn't matter. See how much expanding force does, even if I get rid of the Clefairy. Clefairy's gone, that's great. It does a lot of damage to the Vaporeon, too. Even though he's pretty much at, like, neutral. Now he's at plus one. I mean, technically plus three, but I'm at plus two special attacks, so it kind of evens itself out, technically. Fine, he goes into Dragonite, that's fine. He can't E-speed me here. Because the terrain's up. I don't know if he knows that or not, but we'll find out. I'm gonna Helping Hand again. Expanding Force again. Unless he's like Terra Normal. Or Terra Steel, I guess. He could be Terra Steel. 
He's Terra Normal. Is he gonna E speed here? Is he really gonna E speed? That it doesn't work. Uh, he's not, I guess. We'll find out, I guess. We'll see. I think helping hand goes first. He's gonna protect. Okay. E speed doesn't work. E speed doesn't work. I think actually the train's done. I think there's one last turn train here though. Doesn't matter, he's dead. What a choke. He does not know how terrain works. Go back to the trainer school, noob. Somebody failed their their assignments. Now the terrain's gone. I think I actually just swapped the Indeedy out here just to get my terrain back. And he has the Victory Bell, so I think I have actually one turn of Trick Room left, don't I? Yeah, I have, I have actually, actually, I don't have any Trick Room turns. I have no Trick Room turns left either, so I'm forced to set up Trick Room here. I gotta set up the Trick Room and then I gotta Protect on this turn. He has a chance to win still here because he has the Victory Bell, he can kinda just put everything to sleep. What he's trying to do, I think that's the only way he can maybe win here. Muddy water at plus two, I might I might die to this. I live, even with a crit I live. What a play. I don't even know if it pays getting up the psychic terrain at this point. I think the indeed is pretty much done. I think it's done its job. As long as I get rid of the victory bell, I think I should be good. I'm just gonna helping hand here. I'm gonna helping hand expanding force. He doesn't have a Terra anymore, and like the only thing he can really do is protect. Oh, I forgot it's only a single target move if there's no terrain. I forgot that's how it works. I should have went after the victory bell. I forgot how I'm, I choked. I am dead. I live. I get poisoned. Never mind. I'm still dead. I don't know. I, 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 that's the reason why I didn't. You don't see expanding forest very much, or at least I haven't played it very much because I forgot how it works. I haven't used it really. I got the trick room up now, though, I guess. I can throw a reflect up here. I don't know how much it really matters. I mean, I'll expanding force, but like, if he has protect, which he probably does, he's gonna be able to stall out the poison here, and I think I actually lose now. Should one shot him, unless he's Sash. He, he's Sash, of course he is. You know, I think that one misplay there actually cost me this match, y'all. I think that actually cost me the game. I don't think I can actually win versus the Vaporeon. I outspeed the Victory Bell here, so like I'm forced to kill the Victory Bell, but like with how much damage he's gonna be putting out, I think he can just kind of stall me out here, especially because he has leftovers and I don't. I think I lose because of that, I choked. I forgot that without the terrain, expanding force is not a double hit move. It's only a single target move. Nah, I choked. I choked big time. That sucks because we were doing so good too. I think I'm dead here actually. Yeah, I just get killed. Nobody to blame but apart from me, I guess. I don't think he deserved that win at all. He did not deserve that win. He played like fucking garbage. Oh, man, I feel bad about this one. I feel bad about this game. I just pretty much gave my opponent the win there because I choked. He he played really bad. He shouldn't have won that one. The guy fucking clicked. He, he wasted his Terra, and he clicked E-Speed when there was still one turn of oh, Psychic Terrain left. That is how bad he was, and he somehow still won because I'm just worse. Man, I'm gonna hopefully we make up for that in this next game because holy shit, this is a bad match. Awful match.
All right, it's actually a really cool team we're going against. My opponent has a full EV Lucian's team, and then he has a random Iron Moth on his, or uh, Slitherwing, not Iron Moth, Slitherwing on his team. So yeah, she has Glaceon, Jolteon, Espeon, Leafeon, Sylveon, and then Iron, or uh, I keep saying Iron Moth, Slitherwing. I always get those two mixed up. I don't know, I think I should just bring them. I could bring the Masperid here. I'm just really scared of the Slitherwing because the Slitherwing is actually a, a pretty huge threat to this team. I actually lead Arcanine. Arcanine looks really good here. I think I should bring Arcanine. Iron Hands lead looks pretty good here. I mean, I guess that with the terrain, like, you can't first impression under terrain. But, like, he can still... They usually still carry, like, double bug move. So, I don't know. Kind of risky bringing the terrain on this one, I guess. YOLO. YOLO. I'm still bringing it YOLO. I don't know what else to bring, so that's what we're going to do. I guess the, the, the Sin is Chai ain't too bad either because it walls like half his team, but whatever. We're going to YOLO. I, I want to use the Mesper and we're here to use the star of this team. Especially after this last match. Man, did I f fucking do bad. Pretty much through the game. So we need to get a huge dub here. I think I just rock slide here. I rock slide and then I uh, fake out on this turn. Fake out the Jolteon and I just rock slide. Pretty solid lead for us. He just leaves. He disconnects. Okay, that's great. On to the next match. I've been dealing with this all night already. I'm telling you guys, like every single other game I've had tonight, I tried to record for you guys. People just randomly DC on me. Whatever, I guess. On to the next match. All right, we're here with another game. All right, I'm getting real sick of the people DCing and rage quitting tonight. It's it's really bad for some reason. This team isn't really even crazy good. It's just a fun team. I don't know what they're so scared of. Holy shit. One has the Empoleon, Rillaboom, Flutter, Urshifu, Sweaty Team. That's all this really is. Tornadus, Lando, whatever. Same old shit you see every single fucking team, apart from maybe the Empoleon. What a surprise. What do I even lead here? I mean, I guess I'll lead Ndidi. Ndidi ain't too bad of a lead here. I mean, I think he's going to bring in uh, the Rillaboom, though, which could be a bit of a problem. I don't know. I mean, I guess I can bring Iron Hands. Ain't too bad. I can bring Hands. Arcanine, I guess, ain't too bad here as a lead. I want to bring the Indeedy. I'm going to bring it in the back, I guess. And then I'll throw the Mesprit on this team. I don't know. I feel like the Sinish Chaw just doesn't do anything. And then the, the Grim Snarl gets destroyed by like half his team. So. Not really a good matchup into this team at all again. And he actually he leads Empoleon. So I give him a free boost turn one. That's not good. He predicted that one, for sure. I mean, I can still Drain Punch, though. I think Drain Punch probably kills him still. I, could, I guess I could Fake Out, too. I could probably Fake Out here on this turn. But, like, then I'm probably dead to the Flutter main anyways, so... I, I have two options here. I can Terra. I can Terra Fire. But I don't. I think I'm dead. Even if I tear a fire, I'm probably dead to the Empoleon. So I don't know. It just depends what he goes for here. Like I'm, I'm really backed into a corner with this lead array, especially being him at plus two. I don't know, I'll tear a fire here, and then I'll drain punch the Empoleon. Hopefully, he kills him, and then I'll just rock slide. He's gonna withdraw the Empoleon. Why? Let me guess. Landris is coming in. Yeah, there's the Landris. Now he can sit and fucking intimidate spam me. That's great. And I'm also going Terra Fire on this turn now too, so now I make myself weak to Lando. Even more so, now he can just spam Earthquake if he has it. Yeah. 
I mean, I could switch out here, but like I have nothing to really switch in, and the Mesper has the, the Iron Ball, so like even if he goes for Stomping Tantrum here, like I still take damage, so I'm kind of fucked here. I think I die either way. I'm gonna Wild Charge, Flutter, and hopefully I live. I think the Arcanine's pretty much dead here, actually. I mean, I can protect just to try to hopefully stall out a turn and maybe get some momentum, but. I don't know. I'm assuming his last Mon, like, judging by these three, he also probably has Rillaboom. Which he's probably gonna go into right now. Oh, yeah, she has. He's going right into the Polion again. It's fine, I guess. I mean, you're gonna. If he doesn't go after the, the Iron Hands here, he's gonna be taking a. A wild charge. If I can live this. I live. I live. What a play. That's fine. That's an even trade, I guess. I, mean, I still live. I'm still alive. Okay. And I think I actually kind of prefer dying there, though, because then I would have got a free switch into the Indeedy. I, I, that's kind of bad that I lived. He doesn't have the Rillaboom either, so that's huge. No Rillaboom. I'm hoping that she sets up Tailwind here. I, I really am. Maybe, maybe he'll set up tail, Tailwind. I'm just gonna go for Wild Charge here. I think he's gonna probably target down the Arcanine. He's, he's probably just gonna go for a uh, double attacking here. I don't think he's gonna set up Tailwind or anything. I mean, I get E-Speed here for damage to maybe break a possible Sash. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I think I'm dead here either way. I wish the Iron Hands would have died on that last turn, because that kind of just put me into a really bad spot now. So it was pretty much dead anyways, I didn't really need it around for a next turn. So instead of getting one hit, one KO there, he would have gotten, and then I would have a free switch, and he ended up getting a double down, which kind of sucks. Because now he has the Flutter Man in the back still. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to try to Trick Room here. I'm going to try to Trick Room, and then I'm going to Expanding Force and see what it does. Get Hopefully get rid of the Landorus. I think that's a bigger threat. I don't think he's Choice Scarfed, because uh, the, the Tornado has outsped him, so he's not Scarfed. He might, he might just be Bandit or something, I don't know. Maybe Rocky Helmet. I'm hoping he actually U-turns out, too, because I can probably live a U-turn. If he's not Bandit, I can maybe live a U-turn, then he goes into Flutter Me, and I can probably kill that thing, because it's actually touching the ground, and I can actually get the terrain boost. Rock slide. Let me guess. I'm gonna flinch. He's going for the flinches. Uh, he, of course he does. Of course he gets the flinch. Of course he does. What more can my opponent get? What more? How much more lucky can they get? Ask and he gets everything he wants. Any flinch he wants, whatever he wants, he's getting. I don't know, I just helping hand here and then I hope expanding force and hopefully kill everything. I think that's my play here. Hopefully everything dies. He protects, okay. It's fine, I guess. As long as I kill the tornadoes and he's not sash. Please kill the tornadoes, please. That doesn't need the mess for it's weak. Oh, I get a miss. I get a miss. I don't know how much that matters, though, actually. I don't know if that really matters. I think I still might lose here. I mean, I, I just helping hand again, and I just expanding force again. That's my play. He's really backed into a corner because, like, now he didn't bring the Rillaboom, so... If he would have been able to change my terrain, he would have automatically won here already. He doesn't have the Rillaboom. He has a Flutter Mane in the back still. And under Trick Room, the Flutter Mane's dead. So. I kind of just wish I saved my Terra for the 
for the mess where it's that way it can maybe go for a draining kiss when for longevity late game it would do a lot more damage but terrifier is fine whatever i think we still we, it depends on what he has depends what he does here Double KO, okay. Match is looking good now. Wait, we're bringing the game back. This is gonna be a really close match. We're bring we brought the game back now. We were really down and out towards the middle of this game, and now we're kind of having a turning point. I think what this comes down to, I don't think he's used a Terra yet, did he? I don't think he Terra. -ed. It depends what Terra this thing is. If he's Terra Fairy or Terra Ghost, it doesn't matter, but if he's like a Terra Steel or some crazy Terra that resists Psychic, then he can maybe win. I, I Like, my only play here is just expanding Force and then helping Hand. And hopefully that's enough damage to kill him. Depending on his build and whatever Terra this is, which is Terra Fairy, that shouldn't matter. If this doesn't unkill, though, he probably has Dazzling Gleam, which will probably one-shot both of my moms from this range, so... This is a huge turn. Can this actually kill the Flutter Man? Can the Mesper actually pull this game back? It does. What an MVP. What an MVP. Round of applause for the Mesper, everybody. Especially after that last game, like one of the last matches, I choked really bad, and I kind of threw the game. Kind of more of a redemption match, and we sure re did some redemption in this game. Man, that, that match was bad. I threw that game to a, a guy that was playing like a clown, pretty much. I don't know. I think that's... I, I don't know if I'll throw any more matches in this video for you guys, but if not, then I'm just gonna... We're gonna kind of talk about this team real quick and before we're done. I don't know. Overall, with the, this team, I think this team is really fun. Like, I've had a really fun time using this team. At least when I was recording for this session, though, like, I had a lot of people rage quitting and, like, randomly leaving my matches, which was really annoying. I don't really know why that was the case, because this team really isn't that scary. And, uh, I mean, the, the Mesprit with the Iron Ball is a really cool concept. It really is. But, like, the reason why, indeed, Armor Rogue is, just, is way better is just because Armor Rogue is just such a better Mon. And plus, it has the fire typing, which I think is really good. And it's just able to tear it into like a grass type with the flash fire and everything. But I think as like a secondary like expanding forest user, if you really want to run Mesprit, I think it's an option, I guess. It has decent bulky stats, like it's a lot more bulky than Armor Rogue actually is. But I think that's the only real upside to it apart from that. I guess it gets nasty plot and drain and kiss and a few other move options, but I think Armor Rogue almost outclasses in almost every single way, especially even like Terra and like even ability wise pretty much most of the time, so that's why you don't really see Mesmer very much, even though it gets expanding force. Just outclassed, unfortunately. Overall, though, it's still a really cool mod. It's really fun to use in this. If you guys want to use this team, rental code up in the corner. Shout out to Jordy for making another really good team as well. Always makes some really fun teams, and guys constantly is putting out really, really good teams. Even like with the regulation being almost done, with like a new DLC dropping here in like a few weeks, he's still putting out a bunch of teams, so. That's dedication too, because I've already got pretty much burnt out with Regulation E. I'm done creating my own teams because like, I'm kind of just waiting for a lot of the new stuff to drop, but still got people putting out a lot of really solid, fun teams, which is great. If you guys want to use it, show some support, use the team. Pretty damn fun. Grim Snarl's pretty good. Didn't really use the Sinistral very much. Kind of like, the, I think, the least used mod on this team, at least from when I was playing, but everything else is really consistent. Iron Hands is really good. Arcanine, really consistent, usually, so same with the Ndidi. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Got a bunch more stuff on the way, some more VGC uh, rental sessions with some really cool teams, and a few other things on the way you do not want to miss. Apart from that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching.